Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall. Today, we're going to think about ways mathematicians communicate their ideas to add and subtract. Take a moment to get the supplies for today's lesson. Go and get paper and a pencil or a pen. Get some blocks or pennies, something you can count. And if you're using counters, you might want to consider making a 10 frame on a piece of paper. We'll wait for you right here. As you are working today, you will have an opportunity to practice your communication skills by sharing your ideas through writing and working to make connections with what you read and hear throughout the lesson. You'll also be working on goal-directed and resilient individuals. Today's lesson is challenging, but please keep trying. Today we're focusing on mathematicians communicate their ideas to add and subtract. Which one doesn't belong? Take some time to think about which one you think doesn't belong. I've added letters so we could think about each section together. I wish we were together because I would love to hear you communicate your ideas. I notice in letter A that there's five dots. That's the smallest quantity. I see four and then one more. It looks like a chair. I noticed in B that it looks like the letter I. I see three on the top row one in the middle, and three in the bottom row. That's seven. Seven is the biggest quantity. I noticed in C that it's doubles. I see three and three. Three and six, three and three makes six. I noticed in D, it looks similar to C because I can see those th the three and three. So it kind of looks like doubles, but I could also see one, two and two and one, or one, four and one. That makes six. Whoa, so many ways to see numbers. We're gonna be talking about empty today. This egg carton is empty. There's no eggs inside. This egg carton is full of eggs. It's not empty. We're going to be talking about empty and full today. Another word we might say is row. There is a top row in this 10 frame. The top row is blue. The bottom row is white. How many boxes do you see? Yes, there's 10 boxes. How many empty boxes do you see? Yes, there are 10 empty boxes. Remember, empty means that there's no dots in the 10 frame, dots or counters, whatever you're used to your teacher saying. I'm going to give you a description and you can use your counters or your paper to work this out. Okay. I'm looking at a 10 frame 
and there are five empty boxes on the bottom row. The top row has one empty box. How many dots are on my 10 frame? Can you work it out? Four plus zero equals four. There were four counters on the top row. Let's try another one. I'm looking at a 10 frame. There are three empty boxes on the bottom row. There are two empty boxes on the top row. How many dots are on my 10 frame? Can you work it out? You can use your paper and pencil or your counters to show your thinking. Here's one way you could have made it. Three plus two equals five. I'm looking at a 10 frame. There are four empty boxes on the bottom row. There are zero empty boxes on the top row. How many dots are on my 10 frame? Can you work it out? Use your paper and pencil or your counters to show your thinking. the number sentence look like for this one? Five plus one equals six. I'm looking at a 10 frame. There is one empty box on the bottom row. The top row is full. How many dots are on my 10 frame? Can you work it out? You can use your paper and pencil or your counters to show your thinking. Here it is. What would a number sentence look like? Five plus four equals nine. I'm looking at a 10 frame. There are two empty boxes on the bottom row. There are zero empty boxes on the top row. How many dots are on my 10 frame? Can you work it out? You can use your paper and pencil or your counters to show your thinking.
here's one way you could have made it. Well, what would our number sentence look like for this? Five plus three equals eight. I'm looking at a 10 frame. There are two empty boxes on the bottom row. There are two empty boxes on the top row. How many dots are on my 10 frame? Can you work it out? You can use your paper or pencil or your counters to show your thinking. Here's one way you could have made it. But what would our number sentence look like for this? Could be three plus three equals six. Three on the top row and three on the bottom. Or maybe you thought of two plus two plus two equals six. So much fun to do math. Here's another way that you could have thought about it. Three plus three equals six. Now, now they're going to look a little different. What is one plus seven? Remember that plus sign means to add. I thought about seven as the 10 frames we were just thinking about. And then one more, one plus seven equals eight. What is four plus three? Can you work it out? Four plus three equals seven. What is six plus three? Can you work it out? Six plus three equals nine. What is nine? Subtract one. When we see that symbol, you could think about subtract, take away, remove, minus. Can you work it out? Nine minus one is eight. What is eight minus two? Can you work it out? Eight minus two equals six. What is four minus two? Four minus two equals two. What is six minus three? Can you work it out? Six minus three equals three. In today's lesson, we went over ways mathematicians communicate their ideas to add and subtract.
Can you use your thumb to reflect on where you are in your understanding? Can you give me a thumbs up if you feel like, I got this. A thumb in the middle if you are, I'm still practicing. A thumb down if I would really like to talk to my teacher or someone at home about this. Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you write to share your ideas? Or maybe, did you listen and make connections to what you read or heard? Thumbs up, thumbs in the middle, thumbs down. Thanks. Take a moment now to think about yourself as a mathematician who is goal-directed and resilient. Did you keep trying today? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Thanks. Thank you for joining me, first graders, in our episode of Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall, and I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye.